welcome to announcements for the month of October. Dan, we always like to start off with something to be grateful for mm -hmm. here at FPC, and we're standing next to one right we now. We are right? We're standing <laughs> next to uh, one of the two rain bar barrels that our uh, youth installed during their downtown mission uh, project this summer. We haven't got a, had a chance yet to show them to you, but I was so proud of the kids. They thought up this idea, uh, figured out how to get them installed. Uh, Tom Falk, one of our uh, trustees made sure they all were installed soundly and properly, and we're, uh, we're, we're really grateful for the work that our kids do in this church in the way of mission. In fact, uh, September 29th, last, uh, the fifth Sunday of September, we packed 10,000 meals uh, with Rise Against Hunger for uh, places like Honduras, all in, uh, with the youth deeply involved yeah. in mission. Yeah. So, and we're grateful for everyone in our church that loves to be involved in mission work in this church. Yes. Great church. Yeah, great church. Uh, great thing to be thankful for. Now, Dan, we have a lot to talk about because October is October. packed full of things to, to, <laughs> to keep is. you busy, keep you involved here yeah. at FPC. Yeah. Um, let's see, what do we want to start with? Do we want to start with... Well, I'd, I'd like to, while we we're talking about mission, we yeah. might as well talk about how at the end of the month <clears throat> of October, the fourth Sunday, October 27th, we're going to have our mission action team meeting. Yes. Twice a year we have these meetings so that to anyone interested in mission, if you have an idea of a mission partner that we have yet to partner with, come on out and tell us about them. Or if you want to be more deeply involved in mission, come to that meeting and you'll find out how you can do that. This time we have Chad Martin yeah. from Chestnut Housing who's going to start us off with some a uh, little bit of education about what uh, is currently happening in Lancaster uh, City and Lancaster County as uh, he and others are working to solve uh, the housing crisis here in our area. And it'll help us understand as a congregation the ways that a church can be involved in this really important work in our country and our nation right now. So yeah. I'd, I really highly recommend that you come out and, um, uh, and join us for that day. It'll happen immediately after the worship, the second worship service. Yep. Uh, we'll have some lunch and uh, get right to work. Yeah, so. yeah, so uh, is there a sign up for that? We just wanna make sure that people well, know. Well, we, we kinda like, we'd like to know how many people are coming An to have enough lunch. Yeah, that's um, what I thought. So if you could let us know, that'd help us in our planning. Yes, and now you may recognize the name Chestnut Housing. They were one of our third quarter mission partners. Yeah. Uh, but now we're into the fourth quarter. October is the start of the fourth quarter. We are. Yeah, the and fourth we- Fourth quarter already. <laughs> fourth oh my quarter goodness. already, the I know, right? last quarter of the year. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, this uh, this quarter we focus on uh, working with our mission partners who serve the vulnerable populations in our community. Yeah. So, the Church World Services, North Star Initiative, North Star Initiative and, and the YWCA. The YWCA particularly that's right. the domestic violence program yeah. with the YWCA. The YWCA does so many different things. They're right across the church, uh, street from the church. But we particularly partner with them in their domestic violence program. The North Star Initiative um, helps uh, women who are being rescued from sex trafficking. And uh, Church World Services works with refugees uh, and resettling refugees here in Lancaster. Yeah, and so if you don't know how to give to our quarterly mission uh, partners, you can actually give through the, the REL map. It's a really simple way to do it. You can always mail something in, just make sure it's written on there, fourth quarter uh, offering. And then you can also drop it off in person if you're coming in on a Sunday morning. Um, now, Dan, I noticed that uh, we used to have United Disability Services is one of our fourth quarter mission partners. Yeah, that's and that's changed, point. correct? Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. And then I'd like to just, maybe that'd be a great segue to our next part here yeah. because uh, UDS has been moved into the budget, which means they're no longer one of our quarterly mission partners because they get money all year long now from you. Um, every year we take 10% of the money that we receive from your giving and we put that into an account and that gets distributed through some mission partners that are like line items. They can be guaranteed to receive a certain amount of money. So last year uh, you gave over $850,000, which means $85,000 of uh, our budget gets sent directly to ministries like United Disability Service services and others. Yeah, now you so. just said, you, you said, you said this is gonna be a great segue and yes. it is. Uh, if you've been involved in FPC for a while, you know that October is the season of gratitude here. Right. And that is a season where we're hoping that you can give us your best guess of what 
giving could be from you for next year, for 2025. Now we're not gonna get into it too much right now, but all right. we're gonna say is, look for some videos coming from the Gratitude Committee. Right. Uh, it's Brian gonna, yep, Rutter Brian and Rutter, Lawrence Stadel. Stadel. Great team that's yeah. been working on uh, helping us to understand how we can all work together in 2025 yeah. to, uh, to do some great things in our, yeah. in our operating budget. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of being involved and getting together, obviously we have the meeting at the end of October, but there's also some uh, some fun things that we fun do in stuff. October. Uh, we have our pumpkin carving event, uh, the pumpkin painting event uh, for the whole for the whole entire church can show up. <laughs> right, right. It's specifically it's for for the families, for our families, and yeah. you know, kids love coming. But all of you are invited yeah. to come on out to that event. That's um, October 20th. 20th. Right? Yes. Uh, right, right after, uh, right around lunchtime. I, yeah, I believe. I believe so. Yeah. And uh, we'll give you directions to that so that uh, you can come out and just have a wonderful time of fellowship a great time to you together as a church. Yeah. And let's see. Oh, the only other thing is first followers. Do we need first to talk followers. about followers? Yeah, well, we so started thought, our, thought, yeah. uh, our, wow, it's now our fifth community of first followers just started uh, last month. But right now we're taking registrations for the sixth community, which will begin uh, late January. So okay. this is the time to register. In fact, the, the other one filled up so quickly we had to move some registrations from that group to the fall. So this would or to the spring. So uh, this is the time if you're interested in our first followers program. It's a one-year program that meets every month. Uh, groups of adults gather together to. Uh, uh, learn about spiritual formation, how to be disciples of Jesus Christ, to grow in our faith, um, a wonderful way to deepen community. And you'll be hearing in 2025, a lot of uh, new ways we'll be uh, coming together and connecting, but this is one of the ones that we'd really love you to uh, be a part of. Yeah, yeah, so make sure you're checking out our bi-weekly emails, making sure you see what's coming your way and happening in October and beyond so that you can stay connected and stay involved here at FPC. As always, thank you for worshiping and serving with us here at FPC.